everyone, this is Yael from Yael Alchemy, and I'm here to bring you the message of the Divine Feminine to our beloved for the week of November 25th to December the 1st. Um, if you watch the message of the Divine Masculine message video, okay, uh, I apologize, I forgot to turn off uh, some equipment here that was rather noisy that resulted to a noisy, you know, some noise in the background. I apologize for that. I remember now, okay? So this will be a lot quieter than the other video, okay? So as always, I've already prayed over the cards and shuffled them. And let's see where the Divine Feminine is at here uh, for this week, okay? We have here the Ace of Cups, and this is a, a surge of uh, creativity on the part of the Divine Feminine, okay? She's opening herself up to new things because there's a, there's a buildup of creativity within her. Remember, if you um, remember that there has been, if you watch the Twin Flame Weekly, the Divine Feminine has been in a period of rejuvenation, of healing, and, you know, taking a step back and trying to recover from maybe losing her footing somewhat. And now that she's um, gotten back from that, there's a surge of creativity there. Okay, and um, we have here the Jack of Clubs. And this relates really to her adaptability. Yeah, hold on. Because here you can see the cats, and this is almost like leaping off uh, to new ventures. Remember, this energy has got to expend itself, whether it's a burst of creativity, and this is really wanting to get into something new, a new situation. Because, you know, she now has the confidence that she's going to land on her feet, like cats. Okay, and then we have the Three of Spades, and this is really moving away from sorrows, from things that, uh, you know, got her down, which is why she wanted to, to, to have some respite, to uh, really recollect herself, to collect herself. Um, that's why there was a time out there and because there's a, a desire really to move away from these things that are causing her sadness and sorrow. Uh, now, there's some of you who may find it difficult to do that. And uh, I know I did offer the acceptance Reiki a while back. Uh, it's still up on my website and uh, that has helped a lot of people. Uh, accept the situation somewhat because that's the first stage you have to accept it whether it's a defeat you didn't get that job that you wanted uh, you thought by now you would be married with your twin flame and all that anything that really um, we're in the situation seems that you you're beat you, you've that you've lost and so we don't want that kind of stagnant energy to linger there because that's going to spiral down into something more serious to and more difficult to spring up from and uh, so if you feel that you need this or if you know somebody who needs the acceptance Reiki that would be, truly be a gift for them Okay, so uh, do check that out if, if you haven't sprung back from, from that. Because here, see, moving away from losses and disappointments and hurts. So that appeared again. Okay, so for now, and here, the strength and courage uh, to try new ventures. So here, creativity starting 
this has got to get out of the way, these two. Okay, so let's look at the message of the Divine Feminine for her beloved. First we have the Queen of Spades. Then we have the Four of Spades. Oh, we have the same card here. We have the Jack of Diamonds. We have the Ten of Diamonds. And we have the Queen of Hearts. So what words of wisdom does the Divine Feminine have for her beloved this week? First of all, she starts, remember, where's the Divine Masculine at right now? He's using his heart. But there is some fallout because a lot of people are, are misunderstanding his decisions. They feel that he must conform and all that. Uh, check out the Twin Flame Weekly video. So anyway, Divine Feminine telling her beloved, number one, be strategic, okay? Uh, use your smarts uh, to navigate and get a handle of the situation so that he doesn't come out on the losing end. Uh, well, as far as other people's perspectives are concerned, because Divine Masculine right now, we all know that he's doing things from the heart and that may result in some unpopular decisions in his bid to live and love authentically okay so divine feminine telling him be smart about it okay you're undergoing this transition right now we have the four of spades and this is the equivalent of the death card in this deck. And death means transformation, renewal. So be smart when undergoing re your renewal. Okay, uh, he has to play it smart. Uh, because not in order for this to really take off, okay, it's like organizational change. Uh, it, it doesn't work as well when you just mandate the organization uh, accept uh, new policies by somebody that's new that's at the helm you know changing everything and especially for employees that have been there for decades or more so uh, they're going to resist that change they're going to resist that um, that authority uh, the compulsion that's being mandated by the new guys that are in place and that's because uh, people don't like change gener in general. And since the Divine Masculine is changing from within, and uh, which is why he's kind of misunderstood right now. Okay, Divine Feminine saying be smart about it because um, a lot of people resist it if you just go... Uh, if you go the, how do you say that, the conquistador way, so to speak, okay, and say, hey, this is me, love it or leave it, this is me now. So he has to uh, tread lightly and see that he steps on as few feet as possible and, you know, make sure that the change is understood by, by the others, uh, which is kind of a difficult situation because, uh, and you know this, as Twin Flames, Lightworkers, not everybody will will relate because a lot of them, a lot of uh, those who hear it for the first time, who are not on their own personal essential journey, will think that it's just uh, bollocks, okay? It's some fiction that you invented in your head uh, to justify whatever situation you're in. But we all know that that's not true, okay? Because we've had our own personal epiphanies, um, very much different from each other, but really cut out from the same uh, mold wherein you were awakened, okay, to the higher self, to the better part of yourselves, and to the divine blueprint. So, there. And here, we have... Um, in this case, I know this this card also appeared in the message of the Divine Masculine, but here in the message of the Divine Feminine, she's still giving tips. 
she's saying study the situation well okay because there's going to be some uh, you have to weigh uh, the security or the lack thereof versus the risk that you are taking and she's saying this pertaining to uh, the possible bridges that the divine masculine will burn depending on how he manages this transition as it relates to third parties okay um, because that's the kind of where he has to tread lightly not for his own sake uh, he knows where he is at in his journey and what he feels needs to be done still but for other people that are not changing right along with him okay that's going to be very difficult to process and that's why a lot of study uh, you know analysis needs to be made um, as regards uh, it's like security versus risk meaning what you've always known versus what you still have yet to know okay uh, so as much introspection as much analysis and evaluation as a divine masculine can muster uh, that would be good because his um, being smart about this and choosing which battles to wage basically that's going to determine his prosperity this is the empress card this is a fruitfulness this is the divine masculine coming into his own as a merged person uh, when he has already merged the divine feminine aspect of his twin within himself and uh, come into his own fullness okay because this is his his ultimate prosperity happiness fertility this is him <clears throat> um, progressing and hitting some sort of goal when it comes to uh, really managing this transition and this transformation okay so very wise words here from the divine feminine to her beloved and I, I do hope that the divine masculines find their way to really watching this video because uh, there is some sense in here um, and, and some care and love uh, you know listen to her twin flame the divine feminine look she's teeming with creativity and getting into new ventures and uh, following what the divine masculines um, advice to her as far as the other reading was concerned to let go of these things that are blocks that are in the way of her moving forward and coming into union okay because this this is the lion and um, it reminds me of the lust card in in the brighter weight deck which traditionally uh, I mean untraditionally uh, signifies uh, a reunion okay so that's what we have for the message of the divine feminine to her beloved and really I hope this helps and I hope this finds its way to this finds its way to the divine masculines out there okay uh, and uh, that's what I have for you do watch out the next couple of days for uh, Thanksgiving gifts and specials from my website. I will give you a heads up on it uh, either in Facebook or here in YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed to my Facebook or my IG, okay, and Instagram channel, uh, please do so. Uh, I really suck at posting because I'm so busy in my day job, <laughs> but uh, I do post when I have time. And, and I actually have find time to post okay so anyway thanks everybody happy thanksgiving okay bye